uh, come up with another win. It's four in a row. And I want to say thanks to those guys. It was a typical uh, border war. And a lot of emotion, a lot of plays back and forth. And uh, Coach Bobo's uh, doing a great job at CSU. Their team played well. Uh, we came up with a couple extra plays and a hard fought win. So uh, we're excited. That's win number seven. And that's a big win for us. And at this time, I'll take any questions. Yes. Yeah, the question is the play of Levi. Uh, that was a plan. Uh, Coach Vegan and I talked uh, during the course of the week, and um, you know he brought a little extra some in the running game, and uh, with where X was at, we felt like we needed to uh, spread some carries around. So it was good to get him in there. And when Tyler went down, we certainly needed him. How how much did your did the playbook sort of pare down at that point when Tyler went out? Well, it yeah. certainly did. I mean. We got a freshman quarterback, and he's been on the scout team a while ago. But you know, I thought there were some things that we could do. It certainly, he wasn't going to be completely one dimensional. So not like Wildcat. Yeah. He can throw the football, and we'll look at you know as we get ready for Air Force, what are the things we can do with him? Xavier Bolade over a thousand yards. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you say about that guy? Well, you know what, he has really uh, come on, and done a great job. He, you know, he's not very big in stature. I think he's 190 pounds. But boy, he runs strong. And his knee was nicked up. I mean, we had him. We thought he'd be able to play, uh, but even up until the other day, I mean, he was still limping around. And I told him, get out there on Thursday and do some stuff. And even if you don't feel like it, that adrenaline is going to kick in. But you're going to get out there playing at CSU Rams. You're going to feel good. Speaking of that, Coach, talk about your offensive line performance and just the way they were moving guys off the ball and opening some holes tonight. Well, they've been good all year. It was great to get some of our guys back. And it was going to be important and it would be imperative uh, that if we, we didn't put ourselves behind the sticks. You know, we got third down and make well, I thought we did a good job with that and converting on third down. A lot of that come down to not only the good running game, but flying up front. Craig, you guys got the, the fourth down stop there midway mm -hmm. through the third quarter and then go down and score what was the go-ahead touchdown. Did you feel like that was a shift in momentum at that point? Yeah, anytime, you know, at that, at that point of the game, uh, it's a huge major swing, uh, momentum and the field position. And when we got the stop, that just flipped the field almost like coming up with a takeaway. Craig, how well do you feel the defensive line kind of controlled the line of scrimmage tonight? I thought they did a great job. And uh, Colorado State's an excellent offense, and they've got – Good running backs and good guys up front. So our defensive line really did a good job. But however, we felt going into the game that we could leverage our front. Uh, they had some great receivers, uh, and <coughs> excuse me. And so that defensive line held their own. Did a great job. Logan gets that uh, that big interception at the end. Cooper makes a, a big field goal in the fourth quarter. Uh, that has to be pretty special to see. Yeah, that's story. That's storybook type stuff. You know, Logan. They call him the governor, and. Uh, you know, a lot of the passes, I thought sooner or later he's going to pick one off. And, you know, for him to leave, uh, you know, the War Memorial Stadium with a big win like this and a pick like that, that time of the game. And then for Cooper, you know, here's a guy who beat himself up for the missed field goal and uh, split the uprights on a 48-yarder. And that had a big, big swing in the ball game. So really happy for him as well. Craig, you said when you came in, this was a game that you circled. So mm -hmm. what does it mean to you to win four of these in a row? That's huge. You know, it's... Uh, you know, we've got great respect for Colorado State. Um, and they're a well-resourced program. And, you know, a lot of our guys uh, are from the state of Colorado, and uh, they had an opportunity to come here. And uh, th that is our big rival of all the teams that we have. Uh, and you can throw records out. So it, I know not only for our players, those guys in the locker room, but the former players, but then also all the people in our state. This is a big, big game. And uh, I think the guys from Wyoming recognize that. Craig, you guys have leaned on defense pretty much all year. You needed them again tonight. Just what does it say about this group that they continue to come through for you guys well, in all these close you know, games? They're playing well, and you know, there's an old adage that offense sells tickets and defense wins championships. And uh, I believe that. And uh, you know, we, we have a good culture here. I think Coach Dickard's done a good job with those guys, and they play really hard and they play well together. Do you ex do you expect X to be able to go next week? That remains to be seen. Um, I'll, uh, I will know a whole lot more. He's a little sore right now, but uh, you know I won't worry about him. We got 24 yeah. hours. If I'm not mistaken, Cooper also came around this all time to even score tonight and come out. Well, you know, it's uh, first of all, I coach Cooper, 
I don't have a comment on that. I'm, I'm being kind of sarcastic on that. But I actually do. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's really owned his work. He's a, he's a taskmaster out there. He works really hard, and uh, it's great to see him uh, uh, achieve the way he has. Coach, speaking of achievements, uh, X does go over 1,000. Fourth time in your six years you've had a 1,000-yard rusher. I know you like to run the ball. Mm -hmm. What does that say about your offense? And people know you're going to run the ball. Yeah, people know it, and when you do it, it breaks your will. And, uh, you know, X has done a great job, and I think we've had uh, significant improvement with the offensive line. And those guys have all bought in, and they believe in what they're doing. Coach, you touched before Doug Logan and Cooper, but how about just the senior group? Pardon me? You touched on both Cooper and Logan, but how about the, the senior group this season? All the seniors? Yeah, like they're the senior last Well, they, they're really special. Yeah. And for them to be able to, to leave uh, War Memorial Stadium uh, with a victory four times over our rival, it doesn't get any better than that. And that's a real tribute to those seniors because when they came here, a lot of them wouldn't give us, people on the outside wouldn't give us a plug nickel. And we'd only won two games and they believed in what we were doing and they stuck with us and so we'll ever forever be indebted to them. Perfect 6-0 and at home coach this year? You know, we're Memorial, we play really well at home. And if you start looking at the record in the past, I thought about that after the pregame meal. I said, Cowboys played pretty well at home. Could be our night. Anything else?